Blue chains, two chains, what an egg, the ultimate flex. Bam. Yeah, I'm walking barefoot out here. Barefoot club. Skinny dipping through PCH, Bolsa Chica all the time. Of course, respectfully, the, the beach is mostly empty in the winter. Today's November something. I'll check right now, let's see. Today's November 16th and it's uh, 3.55, 2023. And the look of the day today is the choker look with a 24 inch. So I got the Jokoji three millimeter flat curve up top at 18 inch. I'm walking at 5'10", 160 pounds. And that's what that looks like with a t-shirt. And blue looks great on gold. Both these chains look really nice, solitaire. But I just wanted to show, just showing, demonstrating what an odd pair looks like, all right? There's an 18 inch compared to a 24. That means you have a, right here, 18, then you have a 20, a 22, and a 24. So, um, this is pretty apart. Some guys can't even wear an 18 inch uh, chain. Um, and it, this chain looks so nice on my wife. This is way too big on my wife. I was watching a Jokoji video. It was about two years old. And it was a woman that bought a 22 inch, seven millimeter rope chain. And it didn't look, it didn't look right on, it looked way too big. So if you're a woman, Make sure you uh, get shorter sizes for your gold chain because they will not hang the same or sit the same like they do on my frame. Women tend to have a 14 inch neck, like 13 and a half, 13 and a half inch neck. Men normally have a 15 and a half inch neck. Uh, there you go. Some people have 16, 18 inch neck. So I got to like, I got a thin neck because I could barely put on uh, my wife's 16 inch chain. So I could barely put that on so I must have like 15 and a half, 16 inch neck. So this is a tw an 18 inch and this looks so nice with the little pendant by itself. And um, let me see, the look, this is the look. But also, this is the look, you know? Also, this is the look. So you just, just get a little like neck profile when like getting ice cream. You know, who, who is gonna notice is gonna notice because they probably low-key have a gold chain on themselves. So uh, that's that. I seen a, a guy wearing a flannel t-shirt and he still put the gold chain over and it just didn't look right. Like to me, it just didn't look right. Like. You can still wear your gold chain and your flannel. Just wear your gold chain under it. And if people see it, they see it. I know people want to show off their gold chain. But, you know, if you buy it, you do whatever you want with it. But uh, pro proper looks. I used to wear all sorts of chains that look nasty. Now I mostly wear uh, one chain at a time. Sometimes blue chains, two chains, final boss, the ultimate look, you know. Uh, sometimes even three chains. I've even worn three chains. But the best look is is one one chain looks nice. But you know I'm wearing two heads, so you know, eh, whatever. If you're if whatever, do you. Blue chains, final boss. Let me see, what else can I show you real fast? While the sun is out. That this chain has a lobster class. See? That's a lobster clasp. And then this is a teardrop clasp. Let me see if I can find it. All right, here it is. Here's a teardrop clasp for you. See that? Oh man. Right next to each other, you can see the difference. I'm over here walking by the shoreline. Bolsa Chica Beach, low tide, jumped in the beach, 
butt ass naked skinny dipping with my two chains and you guys i'm really getting tired of wearing this ring that's not a real gold ring and uh would really love to upgrade that so this is my look you guys i love rock rocking gold chains but even if i'm wearing a hundred i absolutely love wearing them tucked in i do have like the yacht link looks legit solitaire but even like that is so extra that even the neck profile it like says enough for me on the the yacht link it's like it's not sparkly but it's so shiny like you see how this is like almost hollow that the yacht link's like not it's like all full in there it just it looks great it's a great chain a any gold chain is a great chain so um it, it's it's whatever you know growing a small gold chain collection these days i enjoy it getting a uh, little gold chains for my wife they're very affordable or a lot more affordable than a gold chain for myself because they're gonna be bigger but you guys up uh, uh, what i want to tell you guys is the bigger chains are not all that if you don't have any gold chains start off with a three millimeter and you could do a yacht link a figaro chain something light something light now if you get like a bezantine you're gonna start getting uh, heavier prices so that's why if you want a Bezantine, I have a, a two millimeter Bezantine at 18 inch and I think, well, I, I could, it's such a nice chain, but yeah, small and heavy. So many gold chains. You tell me what your favorite gold chain is today. What are you wearing today on November? What did I say? 12th? 16th, 12th. Yeah, November 16th. So yeah, see? That's the look. I absolutely love just being in line and I don't even really think about it these days, but I know that I'm, I'm always rocking a gold chain. And it feels nice from wherever, from wherever it's from. 14 karat is normally, I only have 14 karat uh, gold stuff. Actually, my wife has a 10 karat ring that uh, lost its pearl and we have our own pearls. So we're gonna go uh, fix that. Maybe I'll make a video about that. But I think that's pretty cool. Also, something that I really like is 10 karat white gold. Why not? You know, or how about this? 10 karat white gold sterling silver where it's 10 karat white gold or it's 10 karat gold and the rest is sterling silver. Is that a strange mix? I would rock that. And I absolutely love my Jacoji white gold chains which i got two and then my wife has uh also two uh choker chains the rollo and the heavy link at 1.5 and then um the lemon drop chain has the lemon drop chain has um rose gold and white gold and then white gold and yellow gold because she has both of them absolutely love the lemon drop and they were very affordable and uh man i should have really jumped up to the 2.5 um macro macro millimeters half millimeters make a big difference and the beach walk is over i'm here at the towers check it out a couple guys fishing they're the towers because uh the lifeguards are letting people know that they're not out there anymore for the winter so you don't know how to swim don't get in the water shout out to my plaquita delicious scrumptious deliamptious gonzakita luikins juicy thighs shake and fries uh she's at work right now probably clocking out soon and if you're still watching this full vlog about gold chains or just my personal uh likings peace thank you for watching this whole show and um what are you wearing What's your future gold chain? I'm excited for that Jacoji cell. Even though you guys, the Raquel, if you put Raquel, it may still be working. So the Boo cell does not work anymore. They're sold out of that, but the Raquel still works. And I would really enjoy my Jacoji purchase journey. Uh, slowly now uh, learning how to ch shop better for gold stuff. And uh, seeing that people really like um, 
small gold gifts. You don't have to buy Jokoji for, gi for gifts. You know, you could buy your own Jokoji and then buy some gold gifts for other people from other places that are a little bit more affordable, but still very nice. You know, Jokoji is kind of boosted up in price, but you know, when you get your Jokoji chain, earring, bracelet, pendant, whatever, it's gonna be legit. All right, 10 minutes and 30 seconds over now, peace. Oh, this is what I wanted to show you. <laughs> There's the thumbnail with my shoes and my chains. Oh, look, here's the thumbnail. At 11 minutes almost. 